welcome back to my channel. This is Bastion. This is our new puppy. Look at how cute he is. Hims is a pug mixed with a chihuahua. Well, I don't know if he's mixed with a chihuahua, but we think he is because he looks like one. The guy told us he's full pug, but we don't think so. Hi, little beans. Huh. Oh, you just love the loves. He loves to love, but he also is really annoying sometimes because he cries like a cat. He sounds like a cat and a human baby. Like, seriously. But look how cute he is. Hello, my name is Bastion. Thank you for being in my video. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I wanted to do my favorites video for you guys. I was thinking of doing, like, a monthly favorites, but I don't really know. I don't buy a lot of new products, or I don't use a lot of the same stuff in just one month to do, like, a monthly favorite. So, it's just going to be a favorites, current favorites video. Bastion. Is one of my favorites this month. Thank you, Bastion. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the things that I'm currently loving. Okay, so the first things that I want to show you guys, I guess I'll just do like body because that'll be easier. A few things for that. My current favorite lotion and body spray at the moment is Love and Sunshine by Bath and Body Works. <gasps> this stuff smells amazing, you guys. It's so fresh and so summery. It's like, I don't even know how to explain the scent. Usually I'm good at like, telling you guys what kind of sense it has. Oh, haha, -ha, I could read the back. So the keynotes say sun-kissed daisies, sweet lemon, Mara strawberry, golden honeysuckle, and sunshine musk. So they're just, it's just like a fresh, kind of fruity scent, I don't know. Either way, I'm loving this scent right now. It's perfect for the summertime, especially just because it's really, really fresh. And they're super cheap from Bath and Body Works. They're like 13 and $14, so I love those. I've been using this Jergens wet skin moisturizer. It is amazing. So I went to California a couple weeks ago and one of my friends, Quinn, she had this and she had it in the shower and I was like, hmm, what is this? I want to try it. So I tried it and I was like, oh my God, this stuff's amazing. Basically what it is, is it's an in the shower lotion. So after you've showered, before you dry off your body, you'll use this as a regular moisturizer. Just put it in your hands, put it on your body, wherever you want it, right? And then when you go to like dry yourself off with a towel, you can completely feel a difference in your skin. It's amazing. It's like super soft. And this stuff smells really good. I got the Argan oil one. The one that I tried in California was the coconut one. And that one smells good too. But this one, oh my god, it smells so good. Or maybe it was cocoa butter. I can't remember. But this one is the jam. This is the Argan one. You guys should definitely try this out. If you guys have not tried it already, I would totally suggest it because this is like amazing let's move on to face products now I have been loving and I've already showed this in my get unready with me video if you guys haven't seen that I will link it somewhere here in the video but I use Curology this stuff is probably the best stuff ever created because they are a company that actually like tailors the formula to your skin so like you take a picture of your skin you tell them what your problems are your concerns whatever and then they formulate something for you. So you can see everything that's in my bottle and it tells you how much percentages of that chemical or acid or whatever is in there. It's just a nighttime medicine basically. So you'll wash your face as normal. You can use whatever products you want to wash your face. But before you go to sleep, you apply this and it's just like two pumps to the palm and just kind of spread it around. And this stuff has helped my face dramatically, you guys. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys have seen the evolution of my face because when I started videos in high school, I had like awesome skin and I freaked out when I got one pimple. Now I get like a million pimples and I'm just like, holy crap, that's really horrible. So if you guys have seen maybe like my videos from about two years ago, you guys saw like really bad acne on my skin. And within the last I think I've been using this for like almost a year now or maybe like, I don't know, six to nine months-ish. And my face has cleared up like drastically. It's amazing how good it's cleared up. I mean, right now I have a little breakout. That's my fault. Um, but this stuff, amazing. Definitely a favorite right now. Another face thing. Sorry, guys. We have the oven on right now and I'm like sweating so bad. If you me. Good Lord. Another thing that I'm currently loving is this L'Oreal Revitalift Eye Cream. This stuff is awesome. I apply this day and night to underneath my eyes and also on my eyelids because I just like, I don't know, I've noticed that my eyes are starting to get a lot more wrinkly because I'm getting older for one. I wear makeup all the time for two and for three I just, I don't know, I just feel like I have wrinkly skin. <laughs> 
So I really like this stuff because I feel like it just helps to really moisturize underneath my eyes and moisturize my eyelids. It feels really nice. I wake up in the morning and my, my skin, like under my eyes, just feels soft. So I really, really like this currently. One of my other current favorites right now is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Oh, you guys. So I told you guys about this in one of my vlogs. Uh, I think I got this around Shannon's birthday, so back in April. I am in love with this stuff. I've never had a foundation that I've used that feels so light on the skin, but covers so much and then looks just like so soft. My face always looks really soft. I feel like it's almost like an airbrushed look. It's really, really pretty. Every time I wear this, I swear I get compliments on like my face makeup because it just looks so soft. I'm wearing it right now. I'm also currently really sweaty, so it probably doesn't look as good, but I've been using, what is that? Oh, that's my pimple. My bad. I've been using this in basically, I think almost every video that I've posted for you guys, I've been using it, so I don't know if you guys notice a huge difference or not in my face, but this is what I've been using. This stuff is amazing. It's pricey, but I feel like it's totally worth it because I only really use it when I'm like filming or I use it when we go out. Otherwise, I just wear my L'Oreal because that's my go-to all the time, but I love this Marc Jacobs. Oh, and the color that I am is 33 Beige. And one thing that I started using recently, I haven't had like a really long time to use this, maybe a couple weeks, is the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. Oh my god, you guys. So everybody on YouTube has been comparing this to the, I think it's the Tarte Shape Tape. I've never used that one, but I've always seen people using it and it looks amazing. And everybody's been comparing it to this, or comparing this to that, I guess you should say. But the good thing is, this one's like three bucks. I'm not gonna go out and buy myself like a 20 something dollar concealer because that's just not what I do. I already spent a billion dollars on this. So, I've been using this. I absolutely love this stuff. I think the coverage is great. I have it on today so you can see. The coverage is really nice. The colors are nice. Sorry, I'm trying to watch Bastion as he roams around the kitchen. The colors are nice. I got this one that I'm wearing today is light medium beige. So that's what I have on underneath my eyes. I also put some here, down here. Um, but I just really, really like the wear of this. It doesn't get cakey. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't, like when you take pictures, you don't get that flash back light color. You know some concealers, you get like a really light, like halo here, I don't know. Especially if you don't blend out the powder that you put over it, but this stuff is awesome. Two makeup products that I am currently loving at the moment are this e.l.f. eyeliner. This is just the Intense Ink Eyeliner Pen from e.l.f. It is felt tip, but it's a nice thin felt tip, so I get like a really good line when I go in there and draw it out, and then I draw my wing with this. The only thing I don't use this for is my inner corner because it's not waterproof, but you guys, the color of this is super dark, which I love, and it's super, super easy to use. I think this is perfect for like beginners because you can literally just draw it on like marker. And then I am using the Ardell Brow Defining Kit. This stuff is awesome. It's pretty old, which is why it looks all beat up. This one fell out. I don't know what happened to it, but I use these two colors all the time on my brows. This is actually what I have on my brows right now. I have this darkest color pretty much around my entire brow. And then just in the front here, I use this really light taupey color and just kind of blend it all in. But this stuff is awesome. I used to use the Second Love Brow Powder, but I can't find it anywhere for like the life of me in stores. I think you can probably order it online, but I don't got time for that. So I got this one from Sally's and I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's a good color. It, it stays on. It's a good powder. I really like it. And the last favorite that I want to talk to you guys about before I melt away and my camera dies are the Wet n Wild brushes because these are amazing you guys they're really dirty because I already use them but normally I think they're just like white bristles with a little bit of pink on them they're just white brushes that just say wet and wild on them these are awesome because for one these here are 99 cents each and this one is $2.99 they're super cheap but they're also super good brushes like I've never had super super expensive brushes and I keep saying super I've never had very very expensive brushes but I have used some pretty good brushes, like when I worked at Sephora, I'd buy a couple of them here and there. And I feel like these are super comparable to like higher end brushes. I really, really like how well these blend out my makeup, and I just like that they're super inexpensive. When we go and do like makeup for oops, princes or weddings or whatever it is, we use these brushes. 
and they're like super cheap and we can buy a whole bunch of them which is nice so I think you guys should definitely check out these brushes alright guys that's the end of my favorites for this current month or just current favorites in general like I said if you guys have a chance to check out any of these products you totally should because these are just what I'm loving right now I will post everything down below in the bottom so that you guys can see what everything's called and I guess maybe where you can find it. I'll try to find links for everything online to make it a little bit easier for you guys. But definitely check these things out if you guys get the chance to because these are my current favorites. I'm loving them and I want to share that with you guys. Like this video if you guys want to see more favorites videos or me showing you guys any kind of new products that I'm just like really loving at the moment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already. I definitely love to see everybody that's coming in and subscribing. Any new subscribers that have been coming in, thank you guys for subscribing. All of my old OG subscribers, thank you guys for staying with me. I tell you guys this every time that I have the chance to reply to you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me all these years. It really means a lot to me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!